Hi guys, I'm Tracy. Thank you for joining me today. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering um, a question that I get uh, fairly often and that is going to be whether you need both the Wayne Goss Airbrush and the Sonya G Designer Pro. So if you don't have either, I'm going to recommend one to get and if you have one, you know, do you need the other? So I'm going to do a demo. I'm going to powder with um, the airbrush on this side and then the designer pro. And then I'm going to use it also for highlighter, which is also what these brushes are good for. And then make a couple of other recommendations. And I'm going to show off a new brush that I have. I'll be showing you guys that after the um after i go over these two but before we get started i am going to insert some b-roll of me um, comparing the cheek pro to the soft cheek because i watched the video and i i realized that you couldn't really see any difference when i was trying to show the the cheek pro on this side and the soft cheek on this side the um, blush was just too light it wasn't coming out so i refilmed that using a different blush where you guys can really see the difference between these two. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that. While that while that's going, I'm going to put my concealer on and um, when I come back I will uh, show the two, um, two brushes I was talking about. So the um, Cheek Pro is going to be on this side and the Soft Cheek is going to be on the other side and I'm using the uh, Hourglass um, mood exposure to to show you guys those brushes. That's a better blush, I think. The other one is just I couldn't tell when I was filming, but when I was watching it, it again, I realized there was no I mean no difference I was showing. So hopefully this will got this will give you guys a better idea of what you can expect with those two br brushes. Okay, now I am going to powder with the airbrush. Now this was my very first Fude brush. So when I was using this to powder, it was the only nice face brush I had. And it was at a time when I, I didn't really believe in spending money on brushes. And it worked fine for like a whole year. This is what I used. And because this is Blue Squirrel, it really lightly will deposit the powder. It picks up powder pretty well, but you wouldn't be able to use this like with the Dior powder or one of those like very, um, the big gelée formulas. The hairs are just too fragile on this brush to do a good job at picking up and, and depositing those types of powders. So you would have to use this with like a loose powder or a normal pressed powder. So that's what you can expect with the the airbrush and this is really good. Both of them are good for if you have texture and you know fine lines under the eyes. It will not emphasize the texture and either one. So this the Sonya G Designer Pro is dyed Psycho Goat Hair, so it is different hairs but the reason I reach for this is just because it holds on to more powder and I feel like it gets a little bit more on there as opposed to the airbrush I feel like you might have to spend a little bit more time because it's just not going to pick up as much because it's a pretty thin brush so I'll show you guys a side side view but I use these for the same things and they're both really good brushes they're at this point about the same price but I do think 
I prefer this one a little bit more. But if you have this, the Designer Pro, and you're considering getting the airbrush, I think this is still such a great deal at $45 for a, a pure blue squirrel hair brush. And the one I have is has been used so much and been washed so much and is still in great shape. Um, another thing that will maybe kind of determine which one you get is the blue squirrel brush. This one, I know for a fact, when it starts getting used for this purpose, it will start uh, really collecting in the hairs and it becomes very difficult to remove. So if you're using this to powder the under eyes, you're going to be getting, you know, oils and moisture. You're going to have to wash it. You're going to really have to wash it. This one as well. But I know like these hairs are more fragile. So you don't want it to get to the point where the concealer and powder is all stuck in there. It becomes very difficult to to wash. I feel like this one is a little bit sturdier. So washing it more often is a little bit easier. A couple of other brushes that I think are good options is the Bisciotto CHHC if you want to order from CB Japan and this one is the least expensive of the bunch. It's in the it's about $28 right now and it's is really good. The shape is good for this. And I, I use this just as often as I do the other ones that I talked about. The um my my all-time favorite I would say is the Wayne Goss number two, but this isn't, this hasn't been in stock for some time, so I don't know if you're going to be able to get this anymore. Um, another one that is good is the Chikuhoto Z4. It's a highlighting brush, but it fits in this area really well, and it's gray squirrel, so it's going to really lightly apply that powder. The reason I kind of steer away from this one is I got a, a weird one. It's like uneven, if you can see that, and I feel like the hairs on this brush, they get build up really easily, more so than any of my other brushes. I hope you guys can see this up close. But see how it's like, it's uneven. Anyhow, this is a good one, but this one is the most expensive of the bunch. But um, it, it's not a bad option, this one. It's just, I'm because of the way mine arrived, I'm, I'm a little hesitant on recommending this particular brush, but this is the Z4. And I know a lot of you guys have this one. So if you haven't used it for under eye powdering, I think it's a good option to do that. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is if you don't have either one, I would get the Designer Pro. And if you have this one, there's really no need to get the Wayne Goss and if you already have the Wayne Goss, you don't necessarily need this one either because it'll do just as well of a job. It's just a matter of what kind of hairs you prefer. And, um, you know, this one is just a little more solid, a little more substantial. So it just, just depends. You want a more delicate brush or a little bit more of a sturdy, sturdier brush. All right, so now I'm going to do my highlighter with these two and give you an idea of what you can expect. So I'm going to do um, this side with the airbrush. And these are good for just lightly creating a sheen. I hope you guys can see that. But it, it is really nice at creating that very natural highlighted look. I hope you can see that. You know, just like a barely there highlighter. You don't want to look beaming. It just makes your skin look really nice and healthy. And same with this one. I don't think there's really a big difference in the finish. So they're both really good at just you know lightly depositing powder and um good for if you want a very natural highlighting highlighter look which which i do and now i'm going to talk about the Eno chige pro i just got this have not even um, touched it to my face and i've not washed it so i know it's not you know fully bloomed or anything but i just wanted to show it to you guys 
Um, I'm, hopefully you guys can see this. There you go. And this is dyed Psycho Goat Hair. It's still available. It's really soft and it's, it's very tapered. It's calligraphy inspired. So um, I would, I, I think it would be good for under eye powdering as well, but I don't need another under eye powdering brush. So I'm gonna actually use it with some bronzer, which I know a lot of you guys have recommended I do. And I'm gonna use the Chantecai, um Real Bronze in Goa. I'm, I'm gonna just kind of use this to kind of uh, like contour a little bit. I have a little bit of the um, cream contour, the Danessa Myricks cream contour, but I'm just gonna try to add a little definition to my face with this. So I like how it, it does deposit a pretty decent amount, but it's not disturbing my base makeup, which is important. So that's the Eno Chige with bronzer. I'm really liking that. And it'll get better as I um, wash it and it'll fluff up a lot more. And I think that's really all I was going to talk about brush wise and I know I get that question a lot I wanted to address it all right so just to recap I'm going to show you guys the brushes that I talked about today next to each other the Eno Chige Designer Pro Airbrush Z4 and the Bistoto CHHC so I know some of the other shots didn't focus but let's give you guys an idea of the size and what you can expect all right and that's really all I have for today I am going to hold off on the history section I I did film it but um, I'm going to redo it and so I'll put it onto my next video so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time bye